by Robinson. Look at oh, that. Oh, great day in the morning. What a play. Well, he does it in big games. Watch this play. 33-year-old Brooke Robinson going to his right for this one. He goes better to his left than the right, but how can you beat this? And getting a ball away off balance and still there, even though on a bounce. They play him straight away. Left field, Carbo going back. Warning track, looks up, over. Brooks Robinson has given the Orioles the lead with a home run, the third hit for Baltimore today. And it's 4-3, Orioles. Now here's our split screen. Nolan, watch him after he delivers the pitch. Brooks Robinson swing. Not a big home run hitter, but he'll cash in his share. Nolan watching that ball sail out. Hmm. And what a hitter. That's not to say that Mays and Aaron are any less than a Clemente, but certainly, how can they be any better? We're watching Buford, and he cannot get to him. Here is Clemente again, on his way for three. The Langer. Off the mark, and Clemente has tripled. A lot of hits in this series to right, and back Frank Robinson up to the wall several times. Well, Frank's got to make a move on this one. It's gone. Home run, Clemente, and the Pirates to the Orioles, nothing. And what a magnificent performance from Pittsburgh's right fielder, the great Roberto Clemente. Watch him. And then pitching him outside. He'll drive that ball with power, as we were saying. That is hit well. A Clemente home run, and the Pirates lead one to nothing. It looks like he had a breaking pitch right over the plate. That's his 12th hit. He's one short now, tying Bobby Richardson's all-time World Series record of 13 hits in a seven-game World Series. He had a triple and a homer yesterday and a home run today. Let's watch his swing now. Look at him. Tee off. Everything in that 180-pound body, whipping around. This one, he pulled the left center. Most of his hits have been the right. Two down, George Hendrick at first, top of the second. There's a long blast, a deep left. That one is going, and it is gone. A home run for Gene Tennis. And the A's grab the lead in the top of the second inning with a two-out, two-run homer by Gene Tennis, who hit only five homers during the year. There's a long drive deep down the left field line. That's going. Down. Gene Tennis has hit his second home run in this World Series game. He is not a home run hitter. He hit a two-run homer in the second. This one right down the line, well back into the seats, and the A's lead three to two. Anderson went out to talk to him about. There's a drive down the left field line. That one is in for a base hit. Campanera scores. Gene Tennis heading for second. The throw. And Tennis is a one-man gang in this World Series with a bat for the Oakland A's. He's now driven in nine of their 15 runs in the World Series. on the mound rolling fingers fastball so two breaking balls and then he ran the fastball on the hands to strike him out fly ball to left field Rudy is right there 
crowd looking at that with their hearts, and the Dodgers get a run, two errors, and a hit and leave three. Fastball, down he goes. Little fly ball into shallow right center, but Jackson has to come and get it. North comes over with him, and it's North. Fastball, and a chopper to Campaneris. Got it. So the Dodgers are gone in order, and at the end of seven, Oakland two, and the Dodgers one. Got that tying run, getting scoring position. Well, down goes Russell. Big chopper down to Dick Green. He got him. Before the Dodgers, no runs are hit. They leave two more, and at the end of eight, Oakland three, and the Dodgers one. Now the Boston fans are becoming uneasy. I can't imagine Rose sitting out three days with a the rain. There's a line shot to center. Here's a man rounding third. Here comes the throw. It is not in time. The other runners advance, and the Reds have tied it, and have runners on second and third. Griffey scored easily. Lynn's throw was wide of the plate. Armbruster raced to third, and Rose went down to second on the throw to the plate. Here's the ball hit out to Freddie Lynn, center field. Griffey with a good speed off second. Nobody in cutoff position for the Red Sox. A fundamental mistake allowing a runner, Pete Rose, to go into second. Mickey Rivers with an outstanding stolen base percentage. He attempted 50 this season. He was successful 43 times. 860 the percentage. He's off. Bench throwing. They got it. Johnny Bench to Joe Morgan, and it was a no contest play at second base. And this is a picture throw. Rivers gets a good jump. It's, he's watching the ball all the way, and watch Morgan just put it on him. Watch Bench's balance as he gets it. His glove goes out like a bow and arrow from the top, and that ball just seems to bend in the middle. He stretched that glove hand out there, and it was there in plenty of time. Can, I, service. can I disagree with you? What? I don't think he got a good jump at all, and Ben Schnoot, he took his time. Oh, that's gone if it's fair. Hit the screen for a home run. Johnny Bench has just put the Reds out in front, three to one. And Figueroa got that ball where I thought was a good spot up and in. And as Tony said, Bench's new style of aiming that bat at the pitcher, he timed it beautifully. I don't know if that was a fastball or a breaking ball. He looked like he was trying to get it in, Phil, but it didn't look like it had a lot of stuff on it like previous fastballs. It may have even been a hanging slider. There's that big, tall foul ball, both corners in Yankee Stadium. A lot of arguments before they put those up. Deep to left field. Roy White going way back, way back. Leaps and... Home run. It's a home run. They've signaled home run. Even though Roy White, the left field umpire, Lou DeMuro, has signaled a home run. So Johnny Bench has just hit his second home run of the night. A three-run homer. And the Cincinnati Reds now lead 6-2. to two. Roy White really gave that ball a chase. And here it is. White has made many plays like this, Joe, during the year. He's got a way of timing his leap. But it did not hit his glove. You saw it hit the fan there and then come back on the field. He quickly chased the ball. Here's another angle from our center field camera. Look at him find the wall, get above the fence. You see the ball hit the fan. But Lou DeMuro, the umpire left field, ruled home run immediately. Two home runs by Bench in this game ties a record for a National League player. There you see him. Eight for 15 he's had in this series. One and one the count. Two out. Nobody on. Fly ball hit the left center. It's way Good back. Line. It is gone. Into the left center field pavilion. Reggie Jackson. And suddenly Rick Roden's scoreless streak ends. Reggie got the pitch just where he wanted it, out and over the plate. And this is a ballpark tailor-made to Reggie Jackson. Let's watch him go to the dugout. Lou Pavilla. And the mark is right there. I think this is a bad pitch. As a pitcher selection, I'm not talking about the placement of the pitch. Reggie's not been getting around on the fastball at all. They've been throwing the ball right by him. 
Reggie Jackson. Long drive right field. It is goodbye. A big, big World Series for Reggie Jackson, despite all the palaver about his discontent with Billy Mott as he comes up with his third home run of the series. Quickly, the Yankees go ahead. Knuckleball or no knuckleball. It was what Reggie wanted. He got great extension out of his arms. Look at him. Stand there and look at him. He knew it was gone. A monstrous blow. High above the 417 foot mark. Deep into the empty area without spectators. Measure it 450 to 475. There's a sense of release in that man now. Fulfillment is written in his face. we just told you, only one other man had done it. Babe Ruth did it twice. So he just, just taken out of the rotation. I guess they wanted to now they're going what they got. Another base hit. One run is in. Spencer scores. Doyle heads for third. Then heads for second. He's safe. Double. between them. Now watch this, Tony. Watch this play at second and a tag by Davey Lopes. Now he just doesn't around, turn around patty cake him. He pops in pretty good. He's not very happy out there. Trouble. Going to score another run as he shatters his back. Doyle will score run number five. So on a broken bat over Russell's hat. Bucky Dent is also three for three. And it is amazing. The eight and nine hitters are six for six in this ball game. Rivers. One double by Doyle, and they have done some kind of job, Joe. He gets jammed with his fastball, but he still has enough force behind his swing to just loop one of those polite singles that really stings a pitcher. Ball is not hit good, and Bucky Dent now has 10 base hits, 23 times at bat. He has driven in seven runs. Sooner or later, 
Right now, this game is clearly in the pattern of the Pittsburgh team during the whole second half of the season. Tanner using relief pitcher on relief pitcher. The relief pitchers holding tight. Really leading off in the bottom of the second, no score. Hit in the air to deep center field. Bunbury going back, all the way back at the fence. Gone. He can hit it out anywhere. So the great man comes through and gives the Bucks an early lead. His second home run of the World Series. Dead center field, about 410 feet on the fly. Gregor comes to him and is a high fly ball into deep right center field. Back goes straight.